what's up YouTube so today is arm day today also kind of well yesterday it was more like but today I'm marking the unofficial cut so maybe I'll throw on a little bit kind of what I'm eating but my main goal is is I might start tracking a little bit more of especially my calories and still making sure I get adequate amounts of protein in throughout the day really focusing on getting at least a gram per pound of my goal body weight, which I'm trying to get down to about, I'd say 190 flat, which is sub 190. So I'm going to still shoot for 190 grams of protein a day, give or take, you know, some of that. Spacing those meals out, not too far apart, so I can stay in an anabolic state. So my body's not eating away my muscles. So I'm just going to, you know, Eat pretty clean. No more like, no more like snacks that aren't high quality. Uh, lowering the portion size down in dinner a little bit, and maybe tracking some a little bit more of my meals just to get those numbers down. Like, like for me, bulking is so easy. I don't track anything because I already eat. I know I'm eating enough protein throughout the day, and I just eat so much. So. So I'm normally good on that aspect, but I'd like to track numbers when it comes to cutting so I can at least make sure that I'm doing it right. I'd like to eat around 21 to 2200 calories a day, and I think that should put me somewhere near a 5 to 600, maybe even 800 calorie deficit. For the amount of activity that I do throughout the day, I'd assume that I'd burn close to at least 1000 calories with my workout and kind of, you know, regular activities throughout the day. I don't know. I'm trying to stick, because I want it to be a hard cut. I want it to be a hard cut. I don't know how many calories I burn throughout the day. I know my resting metabolic or my basal metabolic rate is around just about, just about 2,000 calories. So, yeah. We're just going to try and crush it and try and eat around 22 100 calories a day and still get around 190 grams of protein. But on top of that, arms. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to bounce back and forth between tricep and bicep exercises. Hopefully, that's going to allow for a little bit kind of more sustained pump throughout the workout and maybe give my uh, muscle groups a little bit extra resting time so I can push the. Uh, push the agenda or push that intensity throughout the entire workout. So uh, start with triceps, probably do some push downs or rope extensions, and then we'll move on to hammer curls. So we'll do three tricep, three bicep exercises. And then behind me, there's a lot of pickleball going on. So you may know hitting the bag today, I might do a little cardio in the uh, treadmill the uh, elliptical room, stairmaster room, where really they got all that stuff. But we'll still have the pose down, so let's go ahead and get to the workout.
quick drop set.
So this next movement is called JN press, and the idea with this is you kind of just want to keep your elbows in a static position and almost push the weight like you're doing a skull crusher, but you're in the bench press formation. So I always do this on a Smith machine. Smith JM press is what it's called, and I think it's like a really, really solid tricep movement. Like it looks like it puts stress on your shoulders, but it just doesn't. So that's a huge plus from this movement and. But I think it's going to be a great way to finish out our tricep portion. After this, we have one more bicep movement, probably some sort of preacher curl movement. Maybe get a little creative with it. I'm not too sure yet. Probably just stick with the single arm dumbbell preacher curls. Maybe throw in some supersets in there. So, yeah, as far as this goes, let's just go ahead and hit three sets with the last one being a drop set, like we've been doing this whole workout.
So pretty good workout overall today. i say that was one of the like more efficient arm workouts I've had. Bouncing back and forth allowed me to get into my sets quicker because I wasn't as tired. Like, I do one for biceps and I do one for triceps and it's pretty good. I threw in, uh, I threw in a set, a movement of uh, some forearm curls with the bar at the end that I didn't record. But I thought I'd let you guys know that. I mean, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. Um, let's go ahead and hit a couple poses. Front relaxed. Side relaxed. Front lat spread. Back lat spread. Back double by. Side tricep. Wait, I mean side chest. Whoa. Other side to the side chest. Side tricep, I mean. You guys know what I'm talking about. Crucifix into front double by. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go try and hit the bag for just, just a little bit. Take your vitamins, stay hydrated. I will see you guys next time.